What's up Guardians? Welcome to another Destiny Weapon Review. In this video, I'm going to be covering the Messenger Pulse Rifle from the Trials of Osiris. Uh, this version happens to be Adept. Yours does not have to be in the Crucible, whether it's Adept or not. The uh, Elemental type has no effect on the Crucible whatsoever. So uh, no worries if you don't have the Adept version. Everything is still going to be the same. So this is a fantastic pulse rifle, really looking forward to covering it. So let's uh, go ahead and get started on the basic stats and abilities on the weapon. First and foremost, you have a, a number of sights. You've got a ranged sight, uh, you've got uh, the, the sure shot, but the one that I go with is the red dot OAS. I'm just really a fan of that sight in the game in general. This has third eye, which is fantastic for competitive playlists. It comes with the extended mag, flared mag well, and perfect balance. I roll with perfect balance just because anytime I can get more control out of the weapon, that's great. It also has head seeker, which makes it so that when you get body shots, uh, then your head shots afterwards are going to do more damage. So note this here. The first burst is all head shots, and those bullets do 38 damage apiece. Next, I do a body shot first, and so the next two uh, do 41 damage apiece because the body shot was first. So that's what Head Seeker is going to do. Uh, ultimately, uh, you're going to do more damage, obviously, if you get all three head shots. That's 38 damage times three, which comes out to 114 damage, which means that you can two shot an enemy if you get two bursts to land on the head just like that there, 38 uh, damage six times is going to give you uh, well over enough damage to, to two shot an enemy. So this gun does a, a ridiculous amount of damage. Now if you uh, if you lead with a body shot and the next two go to the head then that's only going to come out to 108 damage. Now you can still two shot an enemy uh, if you if you lead with a body shot on uh, both bursts but ultimately you need to have at least one burst out of two where at least two of those uh, are head shots. So um, keep that in mind. Still, I would say aim for the head. Maybe start at the neck region and then go from there. So uh, maybe set your sights on the neck because you're going to want to get as much precision damage as possible in order to two-shot an enemy. Now I had a whole lot of fun running with this weapon on my uh, my Titan. Just because with the Titan, you know, your mobility uh, is a little bit more limited than it is with a Warlock or a Hunter. Both of those classes have the blink ability. Uh, the Titan does not. So anytime that you can take out an enemy before they get in close, uh, that's ideal with the Titan. Now you, you obviously have some skills and abilities to uh, help with close quarters combat, but uh, those things generally require cooldowns. So anytime you can keep people at arm's length with the Titan, uh, that's, that's good. So I'm using the Messenger to thin out the herd before they get in close, and then once they do get in close, I've got uh, like the Force Barrier, I've got the uh, the Ward of Dawn, and I'm using the Astral Horizon shotgun to uh, take them out when they get up close and personal. So this is a fantastic weapon. I highly recommend using it in competitive playlists. Uh, it does work in control just fine, but uh, more often than not in control you're going to have large mobs, and in large mobs of people you're, you're always going to have someone who's going to blink shotgun, or uh, in this particular game, uh, four out of the six players on the enemy team are using thorns. <laughs> so. Uh, Generally speaking, I would say this is a great weapon for uh, 3v3 scenarios. I used this weapon quite a bit in the Trials of Osiris and had a lot of luck with it. Just because with the Trials, uh, people do tend, for the most part, to play a little bit more uh, conservative. So they, they keep their distance a little bit more. And uh, when they keep their distance, a weapon like this is going to shred them pretty quickly. Like I said, you know, just a two burst uh, and, and the enemy's down. So that's why I really like this weapon. Now it's it's comparable in a lot of ways to something like a Three Little Words. But overall, uh, this one just has a little bit more control. Uh, depending on what version of Three Little Words you got, you may not have Head Seeker and Third Eye both on the same uh, weapon, on the same roll. Because that was before you could re-roll weapons. And uh, the only other thing that's comparable to it is like the Spare Change. Which, uh, frankly, I, I don't like the recoil pattern on that gun. This one, with perfect balance, is just so easy to handle. So I highly recommend getting your hands on this weapon. You're going to find it extremely competitive. And uh, it's going to be able to, to, even in some scenarios, you know, you can, you can outgun people using Thorn. I was having a lot of luck uh, outgunning people using uh, some pretty, uh, you know, ridiculous weapons like Thorn and The Last Word. So if you can land your shots, this weapon will treat you really, really well. 
So I hope this has been helpful. Hopefully now you know what to expect when you get your hands on the weapon. And uh, stay tuned for more weapon reviews in the future. Thanks for stopping by, guys.